what we call a very progressive weather pattern. Things are changing quickly and moving quickly across the U.S. And just as soon as we get rid of this off the East Coast, we have more cold weather coming into the West. Let me show you what we've got right now. This is a jet stream I'm going to draw on right here across the Pacific and into the Pacific Northwest. As we get into the week, this jet stream is going to change significantly, go way up into Canada here and drop south again to bring some really cold air down in across the plains. And we're going to take a look at how this will set up. Watch this high pressure system. This is an Arctic high pressure system we're looking at here in that Tuesday to Wednesday time frame. This drops down into the U.S. here and begins to funnel some very cold air once again. We've seen this play out a couple times already this year right down across the plains here. That's going to be accompanied by a fair amount of snowfall as well. The snow is going to be confined to the Rockies and move its way down into the Colorado, Colorado Rockies as we get into that Thursday time frame. But again, the big picture here is this cold air that just comes down unimpeded all the way into places like the Oklahoma Panhandle into the Friday time frame. Still significant snow potential back here in the Rockies, but look at how far south this cold air has come. We're getting a wintry mix all the way down to Oklahoma and parts of northern Texas here. This is a very significant outbreak of cold air once again. Model forecast for where the snow will fall. This is our European model. This is our US GFS model. They're suggesting in general another snow event for this part of the country here. Devil's still in the details. We have a few days to work that out. But boy, I'll tell you what. Look at the change in the cold air. We're going from a 58 on Wednesday in Denver to 25 for a high on Thursday, Al. That is a huge change once again.